Alrighty, righty guys, so got a care package from Motor Marini New Zealand. Uh, we have the accessory windscreen to chuck on the Xcape here. So, I uh, thought we'd have a gander at it. I uh, haven't pulled it out of the packaging, obviously. So, it comes in its very own special Motor Marini bubble wrap, which I'm sure the kids are going to like. Uh, so this should be probably one of the easiest installs ever because literally the windscreen's only held on by one, two, three Allen bolts. So, so long as I don't muck up removing it with me Stanley knife, we should have nice easy access to this and we'll be able to see the difference in size between the factory screen and the accessory screen. I'm not really playing this video out other than deciding that uh, I would film it. So, you're seeing this the first time I am. So if we just hold that up there, we can see the accessory screen is a bit wider. Hopefully this camera will record that. Um, so it's predominantly wider up the top quadrant here and it is slightly taller. So, uh, it'll be interesting what effect this has on wind buffeting, because uh, I do experience a little bit of that, um, and um, styling wise, because it's a much different looking uh, screen. The Marini is quite distinctive with its almost triangulated windscreen there. So we'll pull this out of the wrap. Well, actually, before we do that, we'll remove the factory screen and bust out the incredibly difficult tools. <laughs> One, what size is it? Five mil Allen key. So it should just unscrew nicely. So as with most accessories that come from certain manufacturers, um, they do expect you to have some measure of common sense. <laughs> so, Basically, unscrew what's on there carefully, place it aside, and screw in the new one. So, one, two, now it's not rocket science, obviously, removing a screen. Um, there we go. So, one, two, three, just like that. Factory screen off. Bike looks very strange without it. Now we can line these up. So as you can see, the new screen offers a bit more surface area and it is more aerodynamically profiled. So we gently put that down and try not to stand on it. Start at the top again. Obviously don't want to go too tight on these bolts because we don't want to damage the windscreen at all. Clearly the most thrilling video I've done in a while. <laughs> All right, and the final one. Always try and start your threads by hand. So you don't want to cross thread anything, because then you're in for trouble. Ask me how I know. <laughs> Okay, nip them up nice and tight. Ooh. 
Rightio, easy as that. Um, so first impressions are, uh, this is actually quite a good looking screen. It looks a bit funny in the sort of stock photos of it. Um, there's also a GV um, accessory screen you can get for these now. This is obviously the factory Moto Marini uh, optional extra. Comes with the embossed Moto Marini Eagle logo on the bottom there, just like the factory one does. Uh, sitting on the bike. Offers a noticeably different profile in front of you. It is much wider up the top. Um, you can still do the adjustments. It actually looks quite good. Uh, time will tell on how we feel about this. I'll add the pricing in the bottom of the video because uh, I don't currently have what the pricing is on this accessory, but being Moto Marini, it's not gonna break the bank. Um, this bike is wicked value for money. So we'll see how this windscreen does. And uh, we will report back later with a uh, review on that. But installation, easy as pie. Uh, you gotta be a really special human being to not uh, to muck that up really. Uh, three bolts, done and dusted. Just make sure that uh, you check them every once in a while, or if you don't plan on taking them out, check a little bit of blue Loctite on there maybe. Um, the only thing that has so far worked its way out on this bike is the bolt here for the windscreen adjustment. Um, I noticed that on the um, first press bike I had as well, that sort of works its way out and you get a bit of a rattle. Um, so all you need to do there is tighten up that. Again, it's a five mil Allen key, just nip it up, which is good as gold. So that is the accessory windscreen installed on the uh, 2023 Moto Marini Xcape. Um, next, hopefully, uh, we'll be getting some more accessories as well. Uh, but uh, for now, I have a uh, screw in the back tire of this that I need to go get uh, plugged and we can go out and test on, see how this goes. So uh, tune in for the next one.